Hi there. In this video, we're going to talk about six different array methods. In the previous videos, we have talked about a single method in single video, but in this video, I'm going to talk about six different array methods at the same time. And there is a reason behind this. All the six different methods are almost the same. The usage is different, but the usage for the array is almost the same. And I would like to explain all these methods with a single example, a very simple example so that you can grasp the content. So let's get started. So here is my first method called find. So I will just get some space here. So find is used to return the first item in an array which satisfies the function. So all these are iteration methods which actually check with a function and if the function satisfies the items in an array then it will return all these methods work in the same way so here we have find find returns the first item in an array which satisfies the function and returns undefined if it is not satisfied so let's understand this with an example let me create a variable called fruits and as an one array I will add few fruits to this array to this uh, let me add apple followed by mango followed by banana I will add another mango okay now we have an array of items all these are fruits we have four strings As I said, we need to pass a function for these methods. Let me create a function. Function. And let the function name be as we are working on find method, let the function name be find, find mango because we will try to find mango in this example function find mango and we will pass an argument here and this is our function structure and I would like to pass fruit as argument and I will add a if statement here if fruit equals okay I will, I will try to add length for this if fruit dot length equals five, then return me the item, which item satisfies this length fruit dot length. Okay, here the item is fruit obviously. So return me the fruit. So now we have a function which checks each and every item in this array whether its length is equal to 5 or not and if it is equal to 5 it should return the item so now we will try this with our method find let me just type our usual code console log console log fruits dot I'll use find method and in this argument I need to pass a function and we have a pre-made function here find mango and let's run the code now okay this is fine and it returned me apple because in this array the first item which has the length of 5 is apple so that is what find do find returns the first item in an array which satisfies the function so here the function is to return the length and return the item which has the length of 5 now let me change the length from 5 to 6 and the first item which has the length of 6 here is banana now this should return me banana. Let's run the code again and return me banana. So this is how find works. 
I will clear the code console and comment this first I will copy this code because I will reuse it and comment it and I forgot this it's okay now I will talk about our second method called find index so find index returns the first index of an item in an array which satisfies the function and it returns undefined if it does not satisfy so find index is almost similar to find in find it returns the item which satisfies our function the first item whereas in find index it returns the index of that item instead of the item so the only difference is this returns the index number rather than the item so let's understand this with the same example we have an array of fruits apple mango banana and another mango now we have the function find mango and we will pass fruit as argument and it checks whether fruit dot length equals 6 it returns fruit now I'll just copy this code and paste it here now instead of find I will use find index and run the code and it written me 2 because the, f the length which satisfies 6 in this case the first item is banana and the index of banana is 2 because index always starts with 0 so index of apple is 0 mango is 1 and the next one is banana and the index of banana is 2 so instead of the item it written with the index so that is what this method do so I hope you understood this method now I will comment this code to okay now let's understand the third method which is every so what does every do every returns true if all the items in the array satisfies the function returns false if it does not satisfy so if any of let me change this returns false if any of the items do not satisfy okay now let me change find index to every now I will run the code first I will clear the console and run the code now it written me false because each and every item in this array do not satisfy this function where the function is the fruit dot length should be equal to 6 in that case only the banana satisfies this function because the length of banana is 6 so I will do one thing instead of 6 I will change this to 5 because all the other elements in this, are in this array length is 5 the length of apple is 5, mango and another mango is 5 and I will change this banana from banana to banana so that its length will be 5 now I will run the code again and it should read me true because all the items in this array are satisfying this function so this is how every work now I will command this code
now we'll try to understand another method called filter so filter returns all the items in the array which satisfy the function okay returns an empty array if it's not satisfied okay let's try this now filter returns only the items which satisfy the function now I will change find index to filter and clear the console and run the code now it just written me banana because it is the only item which satisfies this function now I will change apple to apples and run the code again now it runs a new array with both the items apples and banana because both of these items actually satisfy this function filter returns all the items in the array which satisfy the function now what if any of those items do not satisfy my function then it returns an empty array so let's also try that instead of 6 I will change it to 60 and run the code again and it returns me an empty array so this is how filter works so we will jump to the next method which is map map returns the result of all the items in the array in the form of a new array oh this is somewhat interesting so what does map do map returns a new array with the results of all the iterations it iterates each and every item in the array and stores the result and gives us outputs as a new array with those results so let's do that we will change this find index to map and run the code now and now we have a new array with undefined, undefined, banana and undefined all the items which do not satisfy this function are written with undefined and the fun and the item which actually satisfied the function returns the with the correct output so this is how map works the main difference between map and other methods is map outputs the results of all the items instead of the single item which actually satisfied the function so it maps each and every item in the array with its result so that is how map works now let's try the last method in this video which is sum sum returns true if at least one item in the array satisfies the function and returns false if it is not satisfied so let me write our example and change the find index to sum and run the code now and it returned me true because the function is fruit dot length equals 6 and the item banana in this array has actually satisfied this function so if at least one in this array of items satisfies the function then it returns true and what if at least one item also do not satisfy the function then it returns false let's change this 6 to something else rather than 5 and 6 now this should return me a false because none of these items at least one do not satisfy the function so this is how sum works so I hope you understood all these six methods clearly with a simple example and I also hope you like my approach thank you so much for watching see you soon in the next video